Mr. Mukul Rodgi, who's joining us on the phone line. Uh, sir, we've seen over the years, Fali Nariman has had an impact on everyone. I also particularly remember you reading his uh, autobiography before memory fades. Uh, what does uh, Fali Nariman mean for you, sir? He was an icon. He was a colossus who strode the legal uh, framework or the legal arena. I, when I joined the profession, he <coughs> had uh, just started in the Supreme Court. He was a brilliant mind, a very disciplined advocate. He taught me to start early in the morning. He used to call me for conferences at 7.30 in the morning on cold, wintry days. He, he had a very unique way of thinking, thinking out of the box. And let me tell you, my last major interaction with him when <clears throat> I was the Attorney General and I was opposing him in the the that case of uh, judge's appointment uh, called the NJAC. And I saw him... Uh, uh, with all his brilliance, he was like a father figure to me, and uh, I have been very close to his family, to his late wife, Pepsi, his son, Rowington, who was also a judge of the Supreme Court, who retired recently, also a very close friend of mine. I pray to God that, that his soul may rest in eternal peace. It's, as I said, it's an end of an era. And I hope all the youngsters look up to see what he did. He <clears throat> actually, if you see his life, his father was, I remember, a manager in erstwhile Myanmar. And Pali came with his father around uh, the time of partition and uh, settled in Bombay. He was a completely self-made man from a humble beginning with no legal background and rose to be the undisputed uh, leader, you know, along with the likes of Mr. Palkiwala, Mr. Jaitmulani. There were only two, three of them, and Mr. Sorabji, who were in that league. So that's how it has ended. Yes, sir. I've also seen over the years how he's had this, uh, you know, compassion for you, fondness for you. As the former Attorney General of India, uh, you know, when we see about how he tried to guide everyone, I think uh, the most important thing about Fali, sir, was also how he was always happy. He was always ready to help out juniors, always sitting in the corridors and speaking. Uh, personally, sir, about him and your interactions, what were the few cases that left an impact on you? Tell me, one thing which I remember, you know, <clears throat> he would call us youngsters to his house for dinners also. I mean, it was, uh, one was in awe of Mr. Nariman, and uh, it was a great uh, feeling to, you know, go for dinner to the house of the best, or one of the best lawyers in the country. But one thing which I remember, you see, his humility. And humility was this, that when uh, I was the Attorney General, normally the Attorney General occupies the first seat in the first row in the court. And uh, when I saw Mr. Nariman, so I asked him to sit in the first seat and I would sit in the second seat. He said, certainly not. I may be senior to you, but the first seat is reserved for the law officer, the attorney general, etc. And he insisted that I sit there, and though we were on the same side, I wanted him to open the matter, but he said, no, if there is a law officer, he must open the matter. And he said he will sit next to the law officer. That was the humility of the man who had argued some of the most earth-shattering uh, cases in, in the legal pandemic in, <clears throat> in India. Yes. And I remember that, you know, he used to stand in the corridor 
and you know speak to juniors he was not uh, any of those haughty toty types he had no uh, airs and uh, he was also at when it was necessary he was quite outspoken and i remember attending his last lecture i think which was the sunanda bandare lecture and he i remember is one of his last articles which said which raised fingers at the collegium which was strengthened by the njc judgment in which he was a key player but he was very outspoken and disappointed at the way the collegium was functioning he used to say that the collegium is inscrutable but does not know what is happening there is no transparency and he gave the example in that article of a recent chief justice who retired from odisha namely justice murlidhar who was a very good judge and he wrote in the article as to why the collegium did not recommend his name uh, etc etc so you know he could take the bull by the horns and uh, was quite fearless in what he thought was important and in fact if you remember when the emergency was proclaimed in june 75 he was uh, the additional solicitor general in india in, uh, in delhi having shifted to delhi in and around 1972 and in 1975 on the proclamation of emergency he uh, promptly resigned so that showed that he had the spunk which was required of a fearless lawyer that's how i would like to remember mr nadim